morning and welcome to the Children's Homily at St. Bartholomew's Church. We're reading today from the Psalms, Psalm 119, verse 105. I will read it one time through and then pause and read it a second time. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Well, if you think about it, some of the things we say really don't make much sense. For instance, there is a saying, you are what you eat. Now, the first time I heard this, I thought about what it could mean. I mean, if you eat a hot dog, do you turn into a hot dog? Is that what it means? Do you get long and skinny and instead of your bed, you are happier sleeping on a hot dog bun? You are what you eat. Mm. What if your favorite food is pizza or chocolate chip cookies or donuts? Does that mean you are round in shape with cheese and pepperoni on your head? Or maybe you just have yummy chocolate chips all over you. Maybe you have a big old hole right in your middle, just like a donut. Well, since we really don't turn into these foods, you are what you eat must mean something else, don't you think? It may mean if you eat sweets and treats all the time, it is not good for you. But a healthy diet helps us to be healthy because we are what we eat. What about the saying, laughter is the best medicine? Has your parent ever opened a bottle of medicine for you and you heard giggles and laughter pouring out into the spoon or tiny cup? Can you swallow the giggles and laughter to make you feel better? That certainly would be oh so much fun. But is that what it means when people say laughter is the best medicine? I am sad to say there is not a bottle of laughter medicine you can buy at Walgreens or CVS Pharmacy. But laughing is fun and can make you feel good and happy. Laughter is the best medicine. When I was a little girl a really, really long time ago, my mom used to wake me up in the morning by saying, rise and shine, my little buttercup. Did I go to sleep and then during the night grow yellow flower petals all around my face? Did my neck turn into a long green stem? Of course not. It was my mother's way of saying, good morning. I love you. You are as precious to me as little flowers. When we say things like, you are what you eat, laughter is the best medicine, and rise and shine my little buttercup, we are using words to paint a picture to help us understand an idea. Poems and songs are filled with word paintings that we understand because we see them with our mind. In the psalm for today, we read that God's word is a lamp to my feet. This is another word picture. As you know by now, we really don't just see the Bible with a light bulb and a lampshade on it. That's not what the writer meant at all. What we do understand is that God's word is like a light and that we all need to have light to see where we are going. If you have ever walked outside at night, you know how wonderful it is to have a flashlight to shine down at the ground in front of your feet so that you can avoid tripping on stones and sticks and falling on uneven ground. Do you think that is what is meant by God's word is a lamp to my feet? To see where we are going in the dark, we need a light to help us see. 
The stories, poetry, and letters written in God's word are a lamp to our feet because God's word helps us to see the way we should live. Now, many times in the Psalms, the writer will say the same idea twice, but with different words. So the next phrase repeats this idea. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Why do you think the person who wrote this sentence said the same thing twice, but with different words? I'll let you think about that for a minute. I'd like to know what you think. Oh, you have it already? I thought you would, and I think you are right. The writer said it twice, so we would understand just how important God's word is in helping us to know how we live a good life that pleases him. There are so very many ways we can learn from God's word. We can listen to what is being said in church through the lessons read from the Bible. We can listen to the homily. And we can listen to our teachers in our classes that are especially for kids on Sunday. As we get older and have more practice in reading, we can read the Bible for ourselves. And you can always listen to your parents who are older and have read the Bible and listened to God's word for a long time. I know they will help you understand God's word. A lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Let's pray as we end our time together today. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving and caring for us. Thank you for your word, a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. I really enjoyed it. And remember to watch Mr. Jim reading Dangerous Journey this Wednesday night starting at 4.30. Thank you. Bye-bye.